All right, so I did the coolest thing in my exercise physiology lab, and since you guys have been wanting to know more about what I do in my dietetic sports nutrition masters, I decided to bring you guys along for what I did. It is called hydrostatic weighing. It's the gold standard to figuring out body fat and your weight and everything like that. And basically, you go in like a dunk tank, dunk, dunk tank kind of thing, and you get to sit in this little swing and you basically get weighed but it it's so hard guys it's not what it seems like it's like oh i get to go underwater and hold my breath for 10 seconds no you don't hold your breath you have to go like this you have to go like you have to basically get out any air you have and then go underwater and sit there for at least like a good 10 seconds and when you're underwater you try to like like blow out any extra air you possibly have in your lungs so you literally feel like you're drowning and then like then they get the measurement and you'll like you'll see this on the video because i bring you guys along for my fails and successes um in doing this but um yeah it's extremely uncomfortable like they tell you it's going to be uncomfortable but like i didn't realize how uncomfortable it was going to be like it literally feels like you're drowning so let's just take you to the video footage right now. I'll show you what it does. And basically, then I just did a bunch of calculations with the numbers they got from the scale. And that showed me my body fat percent. So let's go to that now. You're going to exhale as much as possible before you go under. You're going to go... Okay, and then you keep sinking. <laughs> once you're underwater, you want to give the last couple spits of air you have out of the lungs. So once you're under, you kind of want to go <laughs> until you can't. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so we're sitting here. We need to make sure we can't get a reading until all bubbles are gone. Okay, no bubbles. So if he's down there and all of a sudden he's like, Okay, whatever we saw as a reading, we'd have to do new ones. And he, we cannot see his back or head or anything. Everything has to be submerged underwater. Okay, so those are the two things. And then once those two things seem to be pretty stable, we get a reading real quick. We can knock on the tank. That's his cue to come back. Okay, all the way down, hair wet. One question. Sorry. Can you take a photo really quick for me? Oh my god. Jump down head first. We don't have all night. Alright, so pull your hair as tight as you possibly can, Sarah, just so we don't have any problems with your hair. There you go. Are we good? Good? Yep. Alright, did you see the butt basket? Oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to tip, so we don't want your feet on the bottom of the tank, so you want to bring your knees up and you want to bring your body down, okay? You saw them do that too, right? We don't want your head bobbing out of the top of the tank, okay? You're going to exhale as much as you can and then you're going to go down. Ready? Flapping will be helpful. I'm going to feel so nice. No, you're not at all. The first time is going to be bad, but that one's bad. The first time. So do as much as you can. It's kind of personal. 
personal preference, but once you're underwater, really try to get as much out as you can. Those last little <laughs> are important. They make a big difference. Okay. Ready? Second try? Yeah. Here we go. better. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Or like more experienced at least? More experienced. Can't say better. It's definitely it's a better. Feel like I'm it was a more stable reading, so that was good. Want to give one more try? Even like so allow yourself to sit in it completely before you go under. Yes. <laughs> so do you want do you, does your seat need to come up? Yeah. <laughs> well I feel like I'm can't get my head above She's water. Not, from 8 to 10 at night so it was late at night I was exhausted I was sick I probably shouldn't have been in water like that but I like was like this is the one time in my life I'm gonna get to do this like of course I'm going in so I did it and it was great kind of hard <laughs> had some issues hit my head <laughs> just just it was a hot mess <laughs> um, but anyways my body fat percent told me that I was 24 which if you guys know body fat percentages um, 24.9 and above is overweight. I know I'm not overweight, so I think I might have not let out all the air I had because it's really hard to do it accurately the first time you do it around just because it's not normal to be able to almost drown yourself. Like, to literally put, like, next time you go in a pool or hot tub or something, try to go underwater, like, without taking a breath, like, like, ex like, inhale, exhale, and then go underwater and blow out all the air you possibly can and then try to sit there still. It's very uncomfortable and very weird. So that's basically what I had to do. I don't think I must have, like, I don't think I did it exactly how you're supposed to do it or like let out all my air or something because I know I'm usually not 24% body fat, um, but that is that. So my calculations came out to 24%. And my roommates came out to like 27%, which is like, she's not overweight. <laughs> so, there is that. There is my experience. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up if you did. 
Um, I'll try to keep including you guys in things that I see and that I like think will be interesting. But, but soon enough, it's going to be Christmas break. So no school for a little bit, just fun. So follow me along in my Christmas break journeys on Snapchat and Instagram. And every once in a while, I'll do like a vlog and full day of eating and such and everything. So that is that. And now I need to go study for my last final. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.